Hey everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a card using the Card Creativity Kit. This is the kit for National Stamping Month and it's available through the end of October. Okay, so I'm going to use the stamp set called Floating By. It has lots of cute images of critters floating, um, holding a balloon. And I'm going to use this background uh, die that is called Cloud Background. And I'm going to start by using some Distress Oxides. So I have a piece of white daisy cut just a little bit larger than that background panel. And I'm going to use a variety of inks to create kind of a, a grassy base with uh, sky. Okay, so I'm using uh, Citroen and then uh, Mowed Lawn, and I'm kind of blending those two together to create a nice bright lime green. And then I'm going to go in with uh, Mermaid Lagoon, and I'm going to create a nice large wash on this panel of Mermaid Lagoon. And then I'll go in with some blueprint sketch at the top, and then I'll blend them all together. So I'm going to add that and then kind of draw it down into the Mermaid Lagoon. And I'm just going to keep going back and forth until I like this blend. Okay, and then we'll go in with the mode Lawn and pull that up into the Mermaid Lagoon. And that's looking okay. All right, so off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this cloud panel. And this is what we get here. So I'm gonna keep some of the punch outs of clouds from this die so that I can reset them into that lower part of the panel to keep that grassy area looking like grass. And then the openings will be white underneath and they'll look like clouds, okay? So now I'm gonna do some stamping. I have this cute little hedgehog. I'm gonna stamp him out in black ink on white daisy. And then I'm gonna stamp a couple of balloons. And then my sentiment says, just floating by to say hi. I'm going to stamp that on White Daisy as well. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my tri-blends. And I'm going to color in these balloons and this hedgehog. And I'll do that off camera. So I'm just going to pull a couple of colors. And color in and shade and blend. Okay, so now we have our hedgehog done, and then I've cut them out with the coordinating thin cuts. So I have a white uh, gel pen, and I'm just going to add a little kind of a reflection area on the balloon, just for a little added touch. And I went over the line there, so I'm just kind of fixing my coloring mistake on the balloon with the white gel pen. And then I'm going to trim up this uh, sentiment so I can create a little banner. So I'm just trimming around the sentiment. It's not any designated size. I'm just trimming around it. And then I'm going to dovetail one end to create my banner. So just snip vertically in the center and then take each corner to meet that snip. Okay, and then I am going to use a doodling pen. This is in black. I'm just gonna doodle a little line around this banner Okay, so now we can start building our card. I have an A2 card base, and it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm gonna take this cloud panel and I'm gonna pop it with some thin foam tape because I wanna create a little bit of dimension. So in each of those cloud openings, there'll be it's gonna be lifted off the card base. Okay, so I'm gonna add foam tape and then we'll add it to the front of the card. And then for these lower cloud pieces that were cut out, I'm going to place them back into the openings 
and just glue them in. So just putting the puzzle pieces back in. So that lower part of the card still looks like grass. So we'll just set them in the openings and glue them in there. Okay. And then we can add our elements to the front of the card. Not sure where I'm gonna put the banner yet. But I'm gonna layer the two balloons and my little hedgehog. Okay, so I'm going to glue one balloon directly to the card front and then I'll pop the other one with some foam tape and I'll pop my hedgehog and then we'll glue our sentiment. So cute. Okay, I think I'll put the sentiment down at the lower part of the card and we'll glue that down. And then for the last touch, I'm going to add some clear shimmer inside each of these cloud openings. So cute. And there's my finished card. So all these supplies are currently available in my online store. I'll make a list with links in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And then you'll be able to find all of my videos. And thanks for watching.